Lee Pearson, thoughts after that? Uh, a bruising encounter? Yeah, frustrating. Um, defensively very good, but it just felt like we bet ourselves a lot of the game because we weren't accurate uh, set piece wise. Scrum struggled a bit earlier than we were okay, but the line out, we just didn't win enough ball, which meant we couldn't put them under enough pressure. Um, they still didn't really break us down for a lot of the game, but because we, we didn't have enough ball, we couldn't get any points on the board. In terms of uh, just going up to half time, you're in the game, it's, it's tight. Uh, the sin bin, you managed to hold out for the 10 minutes while he was off without conceding. Happy enough with how that phase went in terms of, of the response to the yellow card? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because our, our day across the day was, you couldn't really ask for too much more. I think they scored kind of against the run of play on one of them and the other was pick and go. I don't know how many times they went. And we sustained a lot of pressure before that as well on our own line, didn't concede. So it was just the fact we couldn't hold enough ball to put them under pressure and we just kind of got pinged off the park a bit. And that in line with the lineouts just not operating properly, we just couldn't build enough pressure. In terms of the bigger picture from the club's point of view, obviously uh, disappointment today, but some big weeks hopefully ahead, depending on how next week's game goes. Uh, a, a bonus point win puts you in the driving seat, puts you into fourth place guaranteed, yeah. and a shot at the playoffs. Yeah, I think if win or lose today, we had a massive exciting week to look forward to, and we weren't going to go too mad about it, um, although it would have been nice to win, obviously. We have an exciting week ahead, back at home. We haven't played at home for, I can't remember how long now. So we perform like that and we just nail our set piece a bit better and hold the ball, then we're going to be hard to stop, I'd say. A couple of players missing today, back for next week. Yeah, the likes of Ross Hickey will come back into the picture. Um, and then it's good to see the likes of Cal back, who we haven't had, and Philip Carter coming back from injury, Tommy Gormley. And we didn't ship any today, which, which is massive for us. So we're actually building probably nearly too late, hopefully, but hopefully not. Of course, in a couple of weeks you could be building right to a uh, that's like promotion yeah. potentially. Yeah, you're better off peaking at this end of the season than peaking early, and um, luckily it's in our hands now. So, excellent, it's good, exciting stuff. Commiserations today, and best of luck next week. Thanks very much.